According to psychological research, we have no choice. Our behavior is conditioned by our surroundings. We are influenced by the heritage of our parents and the objectives of our education, also the cultural environment in which we grow up and develop ourselves. For instance, if our surroundings is money-driven and dependent, we automatically behave that same way, not because we like it, simply because we are conditioned to do so. That is why it is so difficult to introduce changes, especially when changes are drastically needed, because our current lifestyle and mindset is leading to recessions, crises, inflation, social inequality, poverty, refugees, pollution, and more. But as long as things do not affect us directly, we have the tendency to react in denial, minimizing our own responsibilities while blaming others. We prefer to blindly sustain our own way of life and level of comfort, no matter what. This psychological reality is not only the case at individual level, it also affects institutions and their leadership if they are active in the same environment. If we ourselves tend to avoid making choices that impact our comfort, how then can necessary changes be produced? There are three circumstances that challenge us to introduce changes in our lives. The first and obvious one is when we are confronted with a general crisis or recession and need to act. A second one is when we ourselves need to make existential choices due to private circumstances, such as a divorce or the loss of a job. The third is when our environment decides to make significant changes, forcing us to change as well. There is another, less common option, this not forced upon us, it is a voluntary one. This is when we all together, people and surroundings, decide to make the relevant changes at the same time. This fourth option, the common new story, is what we experiment with at Sustainocracy. We use our five essential human values for our sustainable existence. For instance, with the challenge to create healthy, self-sustaining cities or regions together, this choice is then awareness-driven. It involves everyone, meaning all local citizens, government, science, businesses, and schools all together. Such options can be prioritized around a variety of topics, such as health and air quality, regenerative regional food self-sufficiency, social inclusion and integration in neighborhood communities. Currently, such changes are developed with a positive community sense initiated by someone or a small group of people. Gradually, more and more participate creating a new lifestyle and mainstream mindset together. Thanks to the switch and togetherness, our lifestyle improves, so does our health. We experience less negative pressure. Our taxes can be reduced, including many rules and regulation. Even institutional leaders and elite are happy because they can equally concentrate on real value creation, instead of dealing eternally with the remediation of social or environmental problems. It all takes someone to take that first step guided by our existential values. Stir Foundation has been experimenting successfully with this approach by extending this desired story as a positive invitation to its surroundings. And the new societal story gradually emerges because people and institutions engage out of self and common interest. Any region can become inspired by this proposition of Stir and may call for the help of Stir if needed. With the engagement with sustainocracy and our essential human values for our sustainable existence as a shared responsibility for all local citizens and institutions alike, we do have a choice.